Uh, so you had three sessions planned to explain the need for the people to vote for the referendum on June 4th. Um, one was this week. Do yes. you feel people understand what's at stake here? And how did the session go? The session went well. We had a lot of community members th that were there. Um, people come and ask a lot of very difficult questions. Mm -hmm. It is a difficult time to ask for a tax increase. And that is something that we hear quite a bit, that people are struggling and that it is difficult to uh, make their bills and for a tax increase. We have not had a tax, we have not asked for an operating um, increase in 20 years. There was a, a small operating increase in 2005 that was for air conditioning for um, all of the schools, the cost of that. But for a major operating increase, it's been 20 years, which is good for our school district, for our, um, our, our taxpayers because they didn't have to have an increase, but when you go that long without asking for a tax increase to catch up with the time and what you need, it ends up being a higher bump than what people are comfortable with. You know, let's think worst case scenario here, come June 4th, the referendum gets rejected again. Mm -hmm. How deep will the cuts be at that point? And, and have you come up with a contingency plan? Yes. If that's the outcome? Well, we have, um, we've already, Based on the failed referendum in February, we need to make hard decisions because um, uh, staffing needs to be done and people need to be notified by May 15th about contracts. So uh, our school board did meet last night and they did pass our um, staffing proposal based on the failed referendum. And there were 76 pos uh, uh, positions that were will not be back, that were cut. Including teachers? Yes, yes. Okay.